Let's talk about actress Liza Scott. She was a big deal in old Hollywood movies. Do you have a special memory about her? And which of her famous movies do you think was the most important in her career? Share your stories and thoughts below. Keep watching this video for more interesting facts. In the glitzy era of Hollywood's past, one star shone brighter than most, capturing the hearts of audiences with unmatched talent and charm. She became synonymous with grace and allure, lighting up screens with her captivating performances. Within the mysterious world of film noir, where shadows play and secrets hide, she found her place effortlessly embodying its allure. Her on-screen charisma went beyond acting. It invited viewers into the depths of human emotion. Whether playing a seductive character caught in a web of lies or a troubled protagonist facing inner struggles, each role she took on left a lasting impact. Beyond the glamour of Hollywood, her influence on cinema remains strong, reminding us of the power of storytelling. Her work continues to inspire filmmakers and movie lovers, leaving an enduring mark on the history of film. Her story, like a classic film reel, continues to captivate and enthrall, woven into the fabric of cinematic history. In Desert Fury, she walks down the town's main street, holding a book titled This Is My Best. This anthology features short, humorous works from 93 writers. In Too Late for Tears, she portrays Jane Palmer. She and her co-lead, Christine Miller, both live long lives, passing away in 2015 at the ages of 92 and 90, respectively. Clips of her performance in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers appear in the trailer for Hollywood Mouth 3 from 2010. Amidst the memories of a life lived fully, a tale unfolds woven with bonds that surpass mere fame. The journey from distant lands to the heart of Hollywood, resilience and hope mark the path. Through roles that captivated audiences, a star shone bright, propelled by the endorsement of a legend. In the quiet of farewells, a steadfast friend held close the echoes of shared laughter and tears. As curtains closed, ensuring a lasting remembrance, the story endures. In the mid-1950s, a tabloid magazine made bold claims about her personal life. The head of the magazine had a personal vendetta against her. He disliked her for openly opposing the Hollywood blacklist. He tried to smear her with fake stories about her relationships with other women. In Dead Reckoning, she portrayed Coral Chandler, but her singing was dubbed by Trudy Stevens. Later, in Loving You, she played Glenda Markle. In one scene, two middle-aged women were recruited to create publicity by criticizing Elvis' performance. One of them was played by Madge Blake, who would later appear as Bruce Wayne's Aunt Harriet in Batman. This was a time when her career faced challenges, both from scandalous rumors and the complexities of Hollywood politics. In the world of entertainment, a notable figure made waves not just for their acting skills, but also for their philanthropic efforts and business ventures. Throughout their career, this individual collaborated closely with a respected producer, leading to memorable moments on screen. However, challenges arose within this partnership, as revealed by a co-star in their memoir. Moving into the 1970s, the focus shifted towards real estate and giving back to the community through various charitable causes. This person's dedication to social causes went beyond their on-screen talents, leaving a lasting impact on society. In the 1940s, their image appeared in advertisements for Royal Crown Cola, showcasing versatility beyond acting. Their influence extended beyond entertainment, leaving a significant mark on various projects. In summary, this individual's legacy encompasses their cinematic achievements, philanthropy, and business ventures, making them a cultural icon whose influence continues to be felt. In a classic film, a talented actress mesmerized audiences with her portrayal of a character full of both strength and vulnerability. The performance received widespread acclaim, leading to a radio adaptation of the movie. This actress also caught the eye of filmmakers for leading roles in other films, showcasing her versatility and acting skills. Beyond her on-screen success, the actress led an interesting life, highlighted by a lavish celebration for her 21st birthday at a renowned New York venue. Among the guests was a well-known Hollywood reporter, adding to the glamour of the event and symbolizing her rise to stardom. Through her roles, both on and off the screen, she left a lasting impact on Hollywood's golden age. Her talent, charm, and allure continue to captivate audiences, making her a timeless figure of the silver screen. In the realm of movies, one particular actor made a lasting impact with their versatile performances. 
Their support for Ronald Reagan's political endeavors was notable, reflecting their involvement in the political scene. Their voice was even dubbed by various actresses in Italy for some of their famous works, adding an international dimension to their fame. One of the most memorable roles came in a film where they portrayed a character named Coral Chandler, showcasing their ability to embody diverse characters. This role, borrowed from a prestigious company, highlighted their talent across different genres. Reflecting on their influence, it's clear that this actor's legacy goes beyond just acting. It represents a time and spirit that still resonates today. Their name brings to mind an era of glamour and sophistication, reminding us of the timeless power of storytelling and the individuals who bring it to life. Indeed, their journey speaks volumes about the enduring allure of the silver screen and the indomitable spirit of those who grace it. In the backdrop of a classic film from 1946, tensions brewed between the director and the producer, each with their own vision. The producer, known for his attention to detail, wanted more shots of a character, Tony Marischek, played by a talented actress. However, the director held firm to his artistic vision, opposing the producer's requests. Undeterred, the producer took charge, ensuring his vision was captured on film. Before gracing the screen, the lead actress had already made waves in modeling and understudy roles. Recognized for her beauty, she quickly rose to fame in Hollywood's golden era. Interestingly, her resemblance to her mother didn't go unnoticed, with a magazine article highlighting their shared features and grace. Amidst the glamour of Hollywood, the story of the lead actress, both on and off screen, unfolds as a tale of talent, beauty, and family legacy, preserved for generations. Early in her career, critics claimed she was imitating Toyula Bankhead and Lauren Buckhall. She portrayed an aloof and alluring femme fatale in film noir classics like I Walk Alone, Pitfall, and Dark City. Her portrayal as a gangster's wife opposite Humphrey Bogart in Dead Reckoning showcased her talent. She died of congestive heart failure at the age of 92. She considered her favorite film to be You Came Along from 1945. In I Walk Alone, she played a nightclub singer opposite Burt Lancaster. In Dark City, she showcased Charlton Heston's first major Hollywood role. Her comedic touch shone in Scared Stiff, alongside Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. In Loving You, she played a press agent who discovers a young country singer portrayed by Elvis Presley. In Loving You, she portrays Glenda Markle, Presley's publicist, whose antics might have inspired a later Elvis film. The character is seen in a newspaper clipping kissing a fan backstage, prompting the headline that kiss and cousin. In Dead Reckoning, she takes on the role of Coral Chandler opposite Humphrey Bogart. Their characters were later spoofed in Woody Allen's Play It Again, Sam. Additionally, in Too Late for Tears, she plays Jane Palmer. Producer Hunt Stromberg borrowed her, along with Christine Miller, Don DeFore, and director Byron Haskin, for the film from independent producer Hal B. Wallace. In 1957, the sensuous star released an album of torch songs and romantic ballads titled Elizabeth. In a 1996 interview, she reflected on the rise of film noir, noting its departure from conventional romantic narratives towards deeper explorations of psychology and emotion. Born Emma Mazzo in Scranton, Pennsylvania, she attended the Albion School of Drama in New York City. Initially working as a model for Harper's Bazaar, she later ventured into acting, making her film debut in You Came Along in 1945. Throughout her career, she starred in various films, including The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, Desert Fury, Easy Living, and The Company She Keeps. With each role, she left a mark on the era's cinematic landscape. In the 1948 film Pitfall, she portrayed a fashion model who captivated a married man and an insurance investigator. Alongside actor Dick Powell, her performance drew attention. In Too Late for Tears from 1949, she played a cunning character who orchestrated the demise of not one but two husbands, as depicted on the movie poster proclaiming her methods of deception and murder. As Toni Marischek in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, her role alongside Barbara Stanwyck stirred some initial tension regarding billing. However, a chance encounter years later revealed a warm embrace and kind words from Stanwyck, indicating a genuine appreciation for their collaboration. During a guest appearance on The Nov, 27, 1952 episode of I've Got Secret, she shared a surprising personal detail, the presence of a dimple on one of her knees. Her performances left a mark on audiences and her peers alike, showcasing her talent and versatility across various roles and mediums. 
embarking on a journey from modeling to the big screen, this individual didn't foresee the lasting impact they'd make. With a natural charm and talent, they seamlessly transitioned into acting, captivating audiences with each role they took on. Their ability to bring characters to life left a lasting impression, drawing viewers into their world with every performance. Whether playing a mysterious femme fatale or a resilient woman, their authenticity set them apart. Their work inspired future actors, leaving a significant impact on the film industry. Their name remains a symbol of talent and determination celebrated for generations to come. This is the story of someone who rose above expectations, leaving an unforgettable mark on cinema. In her later years, she experienced a significant loss that overshadowed her once lively life. Despite her successful career, she faced money problems and health issues. When she passed away in 2015, it left Hollywood feeling empty. Her death marked the end of a time when she had made a big impact in movies. Throughout her life, she left behind a lasting impression in showbiz for her great acting and strong presence. Despite her own problems, her work still means a lot to her fans and other actors. It shows how life in the spotlight isn't always easy. Her story, filled with highs and lows, shows how people can stay strong when things get tough. Amidst the glitz and glam of the silver screen, there existed a figure who grappled with a sorrow hidden beneath the veneer of fame. Beyond the dazzle of Hollywood's spotlight lay a heart-wrenching tale of loss and resilience. This individual, celebrated for their presence on screen, faced a profound tragedy with the passing of a loved one to suicide. Despite the adulation of fans, this sorrow became an unseen companion, casting a shadow over their glamorous life. In the whirlwind of fame, where illusions reigned supreme, their ability to endure such adversity stood as a beacon of strength. Away from the limelight, they navigated the complexities of grief, emerging as a symbol of unwavering resilience. Their journey, marked by triumphs and tribulations alike, served as a reminder of the human spirit's enduring power. Through the ebbs and flows of their career, their resilience became synonymous with grace and fortitude. Their ability to persevere in the face of tragedies left an undeniable impact on the realm of Hollywood. This narrative, woven with threads of sorrow and strength, is a testament to the depths of their character and the resilience of the human spirit. In the early 1950s, she faced a tragic setback when her career took an unexpected turn. Despite being a sought-after actress in Hollywood, she found herself embroiled in a legal battle that tarnished her image. Accused of being involved in a scandalous affair, she fought to clear her name in court. However, the ordeal took its toll on her career and personal life, leaving her devastated. Despite her efforts to revive her career, she never fully recovered from the blow, and her once promising stardom gradually faded away. It was a shocking turn of events for someone who had once captivated audiences with her talent and beauty. The incident remains a sad chapter in her life story, overshadowing her achievements in the entertainment industry. In an unexpected twist, it's noted that Liza Scott, despite her fame, faced a sad ending. After she stopped acting, she became more and more isolated, staying away from public view. Without close family or relatives, she spent her later years alone. Her once bright career faded away as she dealt with health problems on her own. Unfortunately, she passed away in 2015. Many didn't realize she had died until days later when authorities found her lifeless body at her home. The details of how she died remain unknown, casting a sad shadow on her life story.